All right. I gotta tell you guys, I'm really, really tired. And my back is killing me. Um, interesting to note, my back is hurting me pretty badly, so I was trying to take a bath. And while I was in there, I noticed a little something unfortunate. Outside of the fact that that bathroom needs to be recocked, um, it turns out that in the dumpster. What the heck is that truck? Um, when we went green with our cleaners, our bathtub is now literally going green. There's algae growing in it. What the heck? So, I don't know. I gotta do some cleaning of that. <sighs> People, I'm so overwhelmed. Today, for a little bit of time, I tricked myself into believing that I had two weeks and I don't. I have like I know, I think, eight days. Um, I'm loving this bedroom. I don't think you really get the full scope of, like, how much bigger it feels. That bed, I think I mentioned this, has three sizes. And it's basically, like, the width of a twin bed. But right now, the length of a crib, it actually extends all the way to the length of a twin bed. And, um, it really makes the room feel much bigger. It had been all the way out in the twin size before. We'd had a lot of other furniture in here, and junk, and books. Much better. Looks good. So, uh, next stop. The hodgepodge guest room. I'm just trying to do the bedrooms, I think. If I can get one done each day. The master bedroom is actually easy. It's. I, we just need to put the bed back together and put the pick the bed off the floor, and it's done. Um... I am going to take down this bed and um, replace it with a white beadboard bed that is significantly smaller. It's about a foot. This, you will see that this bed frame, and it's old antique, it's not even, I mean, you know, it's bigger than a double bed. So I'm going to take that down, replace it with the white beadboard. That way, I can leave this dresser in here, and there's a matching bedside table to that, and it will go with the white, and it will also allow me to move it closer to the wall, um, and make the room seem a lot bigger, especially because the height of the bed is shorter, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, and maybe that's all I'm going to have in here. Potentially, I might, because this is like an awkward open space then, because <laughs> well, hopefully that junk won't be there. Um, kid has like a little roll top desk. I might bring that up in here or I might take a little desk over from my mom's rental and put it there. So my thoughts. Um, you want to know what we always were going to do to this room that we never got to do? Take down that awful ceiling tile and put up the beadboard ceiling like we have downstairs in our bathroom. And the closet, I'm just, it's pretty much fine leaving it. So that's my goal. I think that will help me. I just want to get that bed taken apart. Unfortunately, I can't do that myself. This job has to do that. And we're kind of... I got a lot of stuff I got to get out of there. And the master bedroom... I'll show it to you. Um, so <laughs> that needs to be put back together. I've got two matching beds side tables for that. I've got that dresser. I've got this antique city. Obviously, minus all of the crap. Minus the weird junk on top of there. And, yes. Get the bed out of there. Put it there. Sorry, that room's, that room's seen better days. And the bathroom. Just got to clean it up, basically. And that's pretty good to go. Not much. I mean, we do need to fix this glaring issue. Mr. F went to the hardware store right now. We had to replace, we had those like old school knobby knobbies. Did you know they don't sell those really anymore? You pretty much have to get a one dial for like, I guess burn, burn prevention is why they do that. So, I'm going to commence moving all that extra stuff out of that guest room down into the basement. Because our number one constraint is that once the kids go to bed, 
course, they don't go to bed until, like, freaking 11 o'clock. Um, don't ask. They're, like, all off schedule. Um, once we get them to bed, we can't do anything up there. We can only work downstairs. So that's that. And basically, let's face it, the downstairs is just a pit now. It just needs to be picked up. I'm going to, when they're not here, although I pretty much used all our bins. What did people do before bins? Gosh, it's greatest thing that ever happened to me. Um, I'm going to remove, like, I don't know, half the toys out of there and just take them over to my mom's. And then that's all cleaned out, no big deal. And I made lemon squares, people. Don't worry. And I even made dinner. I feel like I should be getting some mad props for that. That's the last dinner I'm making. I only made it because the stuff is going to go bad. And uh, i got to clear off some stuff in here. Basically, the downstairs just needs to be cleared. No big deal. Clear out the countertops in the kitchen, obviously. And But packing and getting rid of that stuff, that's not so much of a big deal. Because that can be happening once the house is on the market. doesn't matter what's in my cupboards. Um, but the basement, that needs to happen this week so that I can get in the dumpster. I did get rid of all of my crazy half-used candles, and lord, did I have a lot of them. That's what a dumpster's good for, people. Uh, alright, I really am freaking tired, and baby peed on the couch. Like, I need that on top of all this, and I washed it about four times, and it still <laughs> smells like pee. So, and yes, I used the crazy animal pee neutralizing stuff, and it just did not get it out. So added bonus. Alright people, I'm going to start needing to take some kind of methamphetamines. You think I'm kidding? I am. But I am going to start taking a lot of lemon squares and coffee. Which is basically the same thing. Mr. is so lucky that he's on crazy ADD meds. It keeps him going. Alright. Check. Check.